2004. The cast and crew of One Tree Hill put production aside and went head to head to benefit two children's charities. This is their game. rivals in the history of Tree Hill are battling it out on the field. a blister off the inside of my hand. That's good. Cute. Good. Hey, we're going to take heads. Take heads. It is tails. Good. Take the ball. You guys are taking the ball? Yeah. Blue wins the toss. How about this? Girls are playing first drive. All right? We don't have to. Let's, let's just score real quick and then we'll have your second drive, okay? Is that cool? Give me five, guys. This game is underway. Oh, it's looking pretty good so far. We're gonna get in there and do some work. I mean, some real live work on both ends. At the end of the first quarter, Red is up 7-0. But have no fear, sports fans. There's still plenty of time for them to catch up. Watch Ted, he's a cheater. Watching the game. Here we are at the half, with Red leading 14 to 0. <laughs> Better get your head in the game, Chad. The, the farther forward you lean, the faster it goes. All right, how do I stop? Like, oh. As this game winds down, the gap continues to widen. I'm so tired. My legs feel like jello. I want to go to uh, Disneyland. Despite the fact that Dan Scott dominated over the fan favorite Lucas, the real winners in this game are the kids. So look what we did. The kids won. This is the tour bus. This is our home. This is the kitchen. This is where we eat. This is where my dad's office is, and he has everything going there. We have the band sleep here in this section, and whatever actors are on the bus with us will sleep here. Um, there must be girls on the bus, like Bethany Joy Lenz or Sophia Bush. They sleep in the back room. And then the crew generally sleeps right here. Actually, they've got the better beds, but we were so excited when we first come to the bus, like, yeah, let's take the front. And then we just never change. I got a cute book that was made um, made for me from some fans. It's cute little fans. Just, they all made pictures. It's like, so cute. I love when this, this really takes time, you know. This is just like, you know, they have to sit there and do this. And I, I really am flattered by this. Here's another cute one I just got that I, I think is so great. Tyler Hilton Throw Pillow. Never thought I'd have one of those. We get a lot of random gifts. Like someone just um, got me like a whole bunch of hand sanitizer. I just got this awesome unmarked bottle of hair product. It's another gift, which I'm digging. This is fun. A magazine just sent me a Polaroid camera and a whole bunch of film to take some pictures for the magazine. Let's have at it. Let's get that done right now. This t-shirt right here was found by Ray, the bus driver. And um, right next to our schedule here. No job, no money, no car. You know what it should say, but I'm in a bus. That would be killer. You know, this is a full-on rock concert. I mean, we've got full-on full big amps that we use on stage. You know, we don't want to blow anyone's ears out. I think people get intimidated when they walk into the theater and they see these. I think they think, maybe I need to buy some earplugs at the merch booth. So we've been on the road for two weeks. And uh, I think Lee had the most fun on the bus. Probably Lee and Brian were, like, digging it, man. They're, they're road dogs at heart, I think. Enjoy. I think Joy's a road dog. She's just having a hard time admitting it, <laughs> I think.